Hi there and welcome to the Past Papers Questions video 6 and it's the video that shows how graphs uh, questions come up in the Edexcel Decision 1. Now just before we go on with this, um, there are loads of graphs questions in Edexcel Decision 1 but they are um, to do with the various algorithms you need to know about graphs. However, this video just shows that sometimes the definitions we learned in the previous video all the introductory work do sometimes come up and we just need to know them. So there are only two quick questions here. As always, pause the video, attempt the question, having watched um, tutorial six, so you should know the answers to, to these straight away and then check your answers against mine in 10 seconds. So first question, pause the video, in 10 seconds I go through. Okay, three easy marks here um, to know three definitions. As I said, definitions do come up, so you must know them. They're straight from the D1 glossary that I showed you in the last video. What is a connected graph? Um, I would write this. Two vertices are connected if there is a path between them. A graph is connected if all its vertices are connected. So I think two points required there to explain what connection is and then to say a graph is connected if all its vertices are connected. This is straight from the D1 glossary. I've just copied it forward from there. What's a tree? A tree is a connected graph that doesn't have any cycles in it. And lastly, what's a spanning tree? Well, a spanning tree is a part of an original graph or a subgraph that includes all the vertices of G Okay, but it's also a tree, i.e. it has no cycles in it. So those are straight from the definitions in the glossary, and you must know all your definitions. Next question. Okay, again, pause the video, have a go, and see what you get. So again, it asks us what a tree was. Okay, what was a tree? Well, a tree is a connected graph with no cycles. Now, minimum spanning tree, I didn't actually do this in my last video, but it was in the glossary I showed you, and it's something we're going to talk about later. But all a minimum spanning tree is, okay, it's a spanning tree, okay, of a graph. So it's a subgraph of a graph that, con that, with, that contains all the vertices and has no cycles, but it's as small as it possibly can be. So it's a simple definition that you might be able to work out yourself. So a minimum spanning tree is a spanning tree such that the total lengths of all the arcs is as small as possible, or the total weights of all the arcs. Okay, and it's as simple as that. And that's all I wanted to show you on the questions that come up. Most of the rest of the questions are applying algorithms, but it's just to be aware you must know all your definitions to be able to do those algorithms later as they're used, and also sometimes they're asked for you directly to quote. So thanks for watching, and make sure you watch the next video on decision one.